What is this love and war? He know that I love him, got no fucking me wrong. Hello everybody, it is I once again, my mother's daughter, Ramona, and I'm back with another video. Video. So in today's video, as you can tell by the B, we will be doing this beat. This very simplistic, probably the most simple beat look that you'll ever receive from me. So you want to look beat, but you don't want to look like in people's faces, you don't, you know? This is it. So if you'd like to see how I did this, do stay tuned. For all my returning subscribers, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Thank you so much for your support. Your constant support is very much appreciated. And for the new subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome. And I hope you enjoy your stay with us. All right, without wasting any more time, let's get into the video, baby. I will be showing you guys how I do this look i'll put it right here because i realized when i had this look a lot of people liked it because it looked minimal but still look like my face was beat i still look like a mess um and the only reason i did that was because i wanted to beat my face for for, for, for pictures but i didn't want like overwhelming so i was like mm -hmm. anyways so i'm gonna show you how to do that the trick let me close this the trick to this look is basically in the base. It's all about the base. You need to make sure. And now I've been, since I did that look, my skin is acting up. Well, not because of that look, but I'm saying like from the last time I did that look. So my skin might not look as good, but we'll try, we'll try. Um, so yeah, without wasting any more time, let's get into the video. I'm standing, I don't know why, Okay, I just did a vlog Well, I'm in the middle of a vlog And I was standing here and I'm like, um, I like this So, let me remove this My hair is a disaster underneath But we will fix that, don't worry Perfect, perfect So, my eyebrows are still not groomed Which makes this feel awkward, but we do with what we have so first things first because i went i did go underwater with that look and it still looked good after i'll show you guys a picture of how it looked um after i went underwater so yeah let's do this so the reason why i was telling you that i did go underwater with it is because i use color my lotion and it won't move your makeup, you don't move. And this is about 20 bucks, guys. But I thought I was gonna make this like a voiceover. Okay, we'll make another one of voiceover. I'm in the mood to talk with you guys, so let's do this. Um, just taking color mine. It dries fast, guys, so you don't want dry patches under your skin. So, and white casts, because it dries white. You see that? I just wanted to mattify. It will have a bit of a kind of like you put hectic. Um, what's this thing? Sunscreen under, but do you see the difference? Yeah. But don't wish out yourself. Ooh, wait. <laughs> Let me not talk too much and get lost. Yes. Don't um, deprive yourself of moisture under the color mine. Please, I beg. We don't want you feeling itchy because you're too dry, right? As you can see, I moisturized my face underneath, so do not, because that's doing too much. And your makeup might crack because you're too dry. Don't do too much. Don't, don't be doing too much. Do you see that white cast I was telling you guys about? But yeah. You can even put your normal hydrating primer before like just do your things as normal and then you know if you guys have watched my previous videos or follow me on ig you know i always use my lipstick as like a underpainting blush like a liquid brush cream brush whatever you want to call it so i'm going to do my underpainting 
just like that i put it away i'd normally but with this look right the blush will be prominent we're not going to be using contour trust me if you wanted to come out that way we're not going to be using contour so i just do that and a bit there and some people put on their forehead but to be quite honest my nails you know like that as you normally would blend it out blend 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 it's not hard to blend out lipstick for those who are wondering basically staining your face underneath like Oh, it's the light. I'm wondering what's that dot <laughs> of it. This is just a lipstick, a dupe from town, to be quite honest. This is my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 40. Okay, it's the lighter one. I have 40 and 55. When I use it on top, I usually go in with both of them. I start with the darker shade and then the lighter shade. But because it's underneath and I want it to be there, we just use the lighter shade, but you can still use the same. It'll just not be very prominent, depending on how much you use. As I would normally do in my makeup. And then if I want that whole look, I put concealer lying there, but I don't want that today. Once that is done, my concealer is almost finished. I'm running out of a lot of things. I blend. I don't have my my concealer brush. I have my contour brush though, but let's see how it performs. If I look up, it's because there's a mirror behind this thing. I am going to go in with a sponge though also. We just want maximum coverage. That's why we use a brush before. Okay. <laughs> I need to try and use the same brush. Let's see. Okay. Oh, it's okay. It's just not um, doing as much like coverage space. Like it's slower because it's smaller, basically. That's what I want to say. As you notice, I put my foundation around this area, then take the rest to that area because I still want my under eye to look kind of bright, you know? I take the excess and then go to the under eye area like that. You know? Yeah. There's no exception for blending. Whatever you do, blend, 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 blend. Blend, beat that face. That's the key to a face beat. <laughs> I kid, but um, I'm also speaking a bit lower because my mom is working, but I hope you guys can hear me. And then now it's time to set the face before. I literally only have my translucent powder here, and I don't like translucent powder. It, it does give flashbacks. I don't know if it's just me. I don't use it correctly, but it does look smooth. Like, look, it's very refined that it makes your under eye look smooth in the day. But I feel like at night, it's got flashlights. It does give a flashback. So, yeah, maybe for during the day. I'm taking, don't do this. I'm taking the same brush I used my thingy because i want to lightly dust the translucent powder so don't worry the lipstick won't affect it but don't be like me hey but i mean if you have if you feel like you don't have enough brushes you can actually use your brushes more than you think okay now that that's done this do the eyebrows and bring some color back into his face. Today we are compromising a lot, so I left my gel, but I'll be using my L'Oreal gel, same thing. And this same spoolie as I usually use, but the stick is broken. So brush the eyebrows up, brush them. Mm. 
There we go. It's right out there. Take some gel. Some bit of gel. Not too much. Okay. And put them right on the eyebrow because I've done my eyebrows last, meaning I can't wipe off excess glue. So I need to be exact. Taking the end of, because I usually take off the end of that brush or anything and just smoothing it down. Smoothing. It's down. Like that. Take my concealer again. I am so up close and personal. <laughs> I'm taking the one I usually use to fill in my brows. Uh, just a bit more concealer on the actual lid so that it's one shade. A bit more translucent powder to set the eyelids. In this case, I'd use my uh, normal powder that I usually use for my under eyes. My cracked blush, or I take any eyeshadow color shade that I feel like that day, you know, and I'm just gonna pat, pat, pat. Dust off and do you see that? I'm kind of using it as my contour. Mm -hmm. There we go, same thing on the other side. So, where I put the blush underneath. And just a bit more just keep like building till you're satisfied and that's fine for me um i'm going to show you guys like the lighting is a bit bad here because first day i didn't even bring my ring lights so mm -hmm. yeah and it, there's no sunlight in front of me so that's why the lighting is a bit off but now that that's done we do the lips of which in that look I used this brown liner which I'm gonna use yeah as well okay I don't know where I put my nude lip gloss either so I'm gonna go in with this very nude one and alternate to make it look proper because it's as you can tell. Hmm. Okay. It came out having a nude effect, uh, like a clear gloss kind of effect after all. There we go. Let me set my face. we go no longer looking so ashy so just to fill in some parts of my eyebrows sometimes I use eyeshadow but my eyeshadow palettes are too far so I just Mm 
I use brown eyeshadow usually unless I'm going for black brow I will get back to you guys with the hair done and everything and here I'm amazed by this look thank god I always I, I keep things regardless I'm always like I'll find I'll find a use for you and I've just found a use for it so I'll see you guys when I'm all done Okay guys, so I'm back and this is the final look. This is it. I really like it. I like it. I mean, it's like a very simple look, but it's just making sure that your base makes you look beat. Like, show her, okay, you did something, but it seems like, mm, you know, still do the most. So anyways, this is the end of the video. This is the final look. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe Please to become part of the family the familial and do comment down below what more you would like to see from me so yeah bye